Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm a musician, a singer songwriter, um, producer, lots of other things. And I'm one of the artists working on uh, the Our Place in the World Arts Award Challenge. Uh, and I'm here today to hopefully bring you um, a little bit of silliness, maybe, and a little bit of joy. But also, um, I just want to have uh, some time with you to do some songwriting. And the perspective that I come from uh, and what inspires me um, is other humans, um, other people that make music, music that I hear anywhere. Dogs is a good one. Um, and yeah, just my lived experience and what I see in the world. And hopefully today we're just going to let you know that whatever you've got to say through songwriting is absolutely valid. And I just want to give you a few little tools that you can do today, now, to write a song. So I think let's crack on. I just want to make this as um, straightforward as possible um, for you uh, to feel like you can start songwriting straight away. And a really, really good way to do that is to start off with the backing track. So hopefully you all have um, access to something like YouTube. And if you don't, then um, we're going to have some backing tracks for you to download and to start um, songwriting straight away. I would say get any genre that you want, any, any genre that you like. Another little tip for you is, if it feels too daunting to start with a backing track straight away, start with a backing track of a song that you know. So whether it's Lewis Capaldi, Katy Perry, and you can start with the melody lines of that song and start writing your own lyrics. That's a great way to get rid of the fear because you already know the melody line and you can start writing straight away. So go and get your track now. Okay, so step two, we are going to crack straight on with lyric writing and um, we're starting from scratch here. We're starting from um, I've only got the resources of a pen, a paper and a backing track. OK, so I'm the same as you guys. I don't have any fancy kit. Um, and what I want you to do is I want you to start off with a random word. OK, just a random word that comes out of your head. OK, um, I thought it was quite apt that maybe we start with the word home, considering that's where we're all going to be for uh, the foreseeable future. Once you've got your word, it doesn't have to be home. It can be anything that you want. Um, and at this point, don't put too much meaning on it. So if you want to go with carrot or you want to go with um, peas or vegetable, or literally don't put too much emphasis on it. We're going to start with home. OK, what I then want you to do is I want you to write four words that are associated with the word that you've chosen. OK, so we're starting with home. So I am looking out of a window. OK, I can see a door. OK, I am sitting on a chair. Um, my feet are on the floor. OK, four words. Window, door, chair, floor. OK, so we've already got four. We've got five words now. From those five words, I want you to start putting some feeling words into that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the feeling words associated with the five words that we've got. Now, home may mean lots of different things to you, OK? It might feel like a safe place. It might not feel like a safe place. It might be a new thing to you. It might be an old thing to you. Again, at this point, we're not self-editing, OK? So whatever the feelings are that comes up, that's fine. And one thing that you want to remember when we're kind of lyric writing and we're songwriting, we're telling a story, OK? It could be our story. It could be a story. Um, and we want to both evoke a feeling from the listener, but we want to portray a feeling as well, which is why it's good to get into feeling words 
quite soon into the process. So already I'm kind of thinking I'm looking out of a window. I am walking through a door. My feet are placed on the floor. The chair is comfortable. Um, The window is the vision to the world that I see. So very, very quickly, you're starting to evoke you're starting to evoke feelings. So now what you need to be doing is you need to be writing down those feeling words and any sentences that come from that place of feeling word. So if the chair's comfortable, if the chair's not comfortable, if what you see out of the window is making you feel something, is evoking a feeling, when you're walking through the door, does that evoke a feeling? So um, I'm looking out of the window and I'm feeling... I'm sitting on the chair and I'm thinking, okay? So we're already kind of starting to get a bit of a um a bit of a flow going. So what am I feeling? If you've got a couple of lines that's fine. If you've just got your words that's also fine. Make sure you write down your words. Door, chair. And this is where your backing track comes in, okay? So if you haven't downloaded your backing track or you haven't got one, make sure that you go and do it and we'll move on to step three. Okay, so step three. This is where the fun happens, okay? One thing that I just want to stress is at this point, you cannot self-edit, okay? This is the point in songwriting where people feel nervous or they feel vulnerable, and that's totally okay. We all feel like that. doesn't matter how long in the game we are. We all feel that at some point, okay? This is not about being the best singer. This is not about singing in tune, anything like that. This is just about you... um, being gentle with yourself in the songwriting process. So before we move on, I just want to take our four words, okay? And we're going to move on to melody writing, okay? So this is step three. What I want you to do is I want you to take your four words and we're going to play our backing track and we're just going to sing those four words over the backing track. So, I've got some nice chilled vibes, that's my vibe, but you might want to listen to something different and that's fine. We're going to give you loads of different tracks to download or you can go and just pick something that you like. So, we're going to start off with our four words, okay? So, house, okay? You could take it even simple, be even more simplified and be like, house, window. but it's about not editing yourself okay if you've got a couple of lines this is maybe when you're going to start playing about but what it's about is just starting off with your four words and it will come okay as long as you don't sit there and go oh no I can't sing I can't do this this is no good this is no good this is just about being free let yourself be free and just you know sing like no one's listening dead cheesy but you know Okay, so we're going to see what we got. House, a window. I'm looking out the window and I'm feeling lost. Feeling lost. And I'm sitting. Okay, so already we're starting to pick up a bit of a vibe. And this is where maybe you might be singing and you might be writing and you might be singing and you'll be writing a bit more. And that's like, okay, just let your process happen. Okay, there's no right way to do it. Okay, you may also have 
a ton of lyrics that you've just written already and that's fine okay but what it's about is just about feeling it feeling the music what we're gonna do we're gonna go to a different track okay let's let's see what um what else we've got here what's interesting is my for me and you know this is about how how we feel and what we're portraying home for me is changing i'm living between two houses and uh, so things for me are quite chaotic. So home for me is, is, um, is tricky at the moment, let's say. So let's see what comes from that. Right. New track. Let's see what we get. So I'm going to sing and write at the same time. You may not feel that that's what you want to do, but I kind of go between the two, so... got a verse there okay and that's because I was singing very out of tune and that's fine okay because this is all just about seeing what comes out so I'm gonna say it again please just don't edit yourselves please just let this be fun okay and this is just about expressing yourself and uh, it's about whatever comes up just let it come up and honestly if you are truthful in that that will connect with people okay so again just be free see what comes up and whatever your process is if you want to write it all out first that's cool if you want to sing and write that's cool as well next step okay so once we've got um something evolving and once you're kind of putting it into your section, so uh, a verse you, is normally like four lines, okay? Uh, a chorus is normally four lines too. We're being really standardized here. Obviously there's different, um, loads of different genres that have different makeups. Um, but just to kind of make it very straightforward, if you get four lines for your verse, four lines for your chorus, four lines for your second verse, and then uh, maybe the same four lines for your next chorus or you can change it up a little bit um, but it can happen very very quickly okay so just let it kind of come up and see what you see what you get out of it okay and what we want from you next is we want you to be able to record it and mark this down okay so whether you video yourself on your phone or you record yourself you voice note yourself on your phone but please do record it we want to put it up on the lancashire youth challenge uh, website and on the more music soundcloud uh, and we want to get your work and your creativity out there so make sure you document it and we absolutely want to hear what inspiring stuff you come up with uh, in this strange old time <laughs> 